give us a call on 378 0255. Morena, Wairarapa. Rob Mansell here with you. Another MMP show for Thursday the 21st of January. And what a special day it is for us worldwide. Because uh, in the studio this morning I have Meg Hunter and her dad, Minty. Uh, we're going to talk about um, the creation process of live music and the fun of getting into it when you're young, but some of the hard work that has to go into it to get good enough to play on a stage. So welcome, Meg and Minty. Thank you. And I thought, I, yeah, I thought that to start off, we'd go to a clip of Nina Simone. I know she's one of your favourite singer uh, pianist, so here's Nina Simone doing Take Me to the Water. Fantastic. The water Take me to the water To be baptised Because you see the righteous no. but the righteous Take me to the water It cools me, child Take me to Turbulent, and I don't mind if it's calm, and I don't mind if it's green, I don't mind if it's blue, but as long as it's water. Simone taking it to the water and her, uh, her band of uh, amazing percussionists. What about that Meg? What did you think? Oh, I just love everything Nina Simone does. This piece has just got so much rhythm and so Yeah. 
So welcome, and we said hello earlier on, but I hadn't, didn't have your mics turned on. <laughs> so everybody, Meg and, and Minty. Morning, everybody. Asamari <laughs> Ekoto. <laughs> and how's the holiday going? Because you've been away from the busyness of school life for a few weeks now. Yeah, I think the music life always carries on throughout the year. There's no break from that, but um, I mean, I don't really want a break from that, so no. that's always good. It's just been gigging hardcore for a while now, and yeah. it's yeah. preparing for the event coming up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's next Thursday. Yes, 28th. Yes. Yep, one to twenty one. One to twenty one. Yep, it's an yeah. all ages event, but yeah, it's got a, a real focus on there's some of the hottest young performers in Wairapa, and and focusing on a youth audience, but that also works for people who are a bit young at heart as well. So yeah, there'll be yeah. people of all ages. Yeah, yeah, mental age is what we're <laughs> going for really. Yeah. And you've had a trial run at it, haven't you, before Christmas? Uh, yeah, probably not for one to twenty one, but but um, Meg and Dragonfly and Dixon's List. Um, we're doing a series of gigs yep. uh, at the Waihinga Centre and um, then at Waikol as well and one other. Um, and that was that was a really good... That was kind of the feel that we wanted to bring to Wonder 21. Mm. I think that doing kind of more concert settings like that rather mm. than... Because a lot of the time just playing bars or places like that, mm. you can't get that practice that you need of pulling in the audience. No. Um, so doing those was really helpful, yes. and I think. So your event is on at the Carterton Event Centre. Yes, Quite Carterton a big Event Centre, yeah. But you've played there before. I saw you playing in uh, one of the Rock Quest yes. uh, sessions last year. And I think yes, I maybe did. the Talent Wider Upper Final as well. That was yeah, and the Talent Wider Upper yeah. Final. Yeah, it would have been both, yeah. 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 So That's you're up awesome for it. venue, yeah. Uh, I'll try anyway. But, um, so are you playing on your own or do you have someone playing with you? Well, for for a long time I have been playing on my own, accompanying myself on piano. Mm. But about two months ago I asked my friend Alex, who plays guitar and mm. sings, to come and play with me. Yeah. And so... Yeah. So you've been doing that more regularly. Yeah, it's great. And that requires a different type of preparation, I imagine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when we, when we do prepare. <laughs> oh, yeah? Sometimes it's just pretending we've prepared as the preparation, really. Yeah. They are quite incredible, though. They just uh, complement each other really well, so yes. it, it's been fabulous to watch. Yeah. But, yeah, I, there's, there's a whole lineup of, um, of the, for 1 to 21, we've got um, Jerome Loper and the Seki Brothers as oh, well. Awesome. So, yeah, they're playing, um, and then they'll be doing Y Fest the weekend after. Yeah. Um, uh, Dragonfly out of Waikol. Uh, Raya Matthews um, doing some uh, crooning, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, of course, Mr. Deathwish, Julian Eldred. Yes. Uh, yep. Um, with Jordan Treadray on drums. So there's going to be, it's going to be massive. Oh. I'm so excited. Yeah. 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 Um, it's great to have the wider upper. I mean, talent show. Yes. Yeah. Winners course. back together. I mean, <laughs> get Mr. Deathwish there too. I yeah. Haven't. We had him play with us at the Tin Hut. Oh, uh, with his dad's band playing afterwards, Andy's band, uh, good as gold. Yeah, that was a great night, and he's so surprising, isn't he? The sounds he gets, yeah. the the kind of uh, it's pretty risky in a way to head out into those kind of alternative tunings and. Uh, he just to, does whatever yeah. his authentic self. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Great. yeah, he seems really fearless, yeah. and I love that. So I love the fact that we've got this kind of we're going to be able to tell a whole musical story throughout the night with the with the um, different acts. Yeah, and we've got such a, different yeah. genres that we're bringing in there. I mean, yeah. we've got yeah, well, there'll be some Bruno Mars, rap, some Stevie Wonder, got, some rap, some yeah. We've got yeah. Um, jazz. We've got soul. We've got yeah. um, reggae. We've got a bit of Benny, a bit of yeah, pop. Yeah. Um, but it's really, I think we're just trying to have a mix of genres that will just kind of make an uplifting concert too because sure. it's been a tough year for everyone and I think but you guys come with quite a, a level of professionalism too for your age where does that come from? Um, so oh, being ambitious? Know. wanting to do it well? Minty, or? you know, just forces that one on me <laughs> <laughs> no. that's right, slave driving that's right <laughs> Yeah, you've got uh, a manager. Huh? <laughs> it's it really. I mean, from the outside, I'd say it comes from um, me. Just has a passion, you know. Yeah. And Alex is very much the same. So the two mm. of them, I think, together, you know, do just bounce off each other. And and but yeah, Meg, you just seem to love it. I just think that 
it's so worth putting time and commitment to something that you genuinely love and yeah i think that music for me just it's just something that kind of completes completes me really um but yeah, yeah so i just it's totally worth it for me putting time yeah. and effort and money to it sure yeah good but I think also we've been really lucky to have fantastic support. And Rob, you're kind of one of those people from back in when Meg was supporting Hinamoana Baker at um, mm. Aratoi. That, um, yeah, that your, was a great night. It was a yeah. fantastic Amazing. night. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, your help there and just your words of enthusiasm and encouragement for Meg when, you know, it was a big yeah. thing for a, yeah. what were you, 14 at the time? Uh, f- yeah, yeah, just kind of newly yeah. 14. And I yeah. really. I still didn't have quite the performing confidence no. then, um, but and also performing with Hindi Moana Baker yes. was crazy. Yes. But um, yes. yeah, and it was amazing having you there and having that amazing sound system. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. So who's doing sound for you on Thursday? Uh, it's Toby from Noise Productions. Oh wow! Well, so, you've yeah. got the best of the. Yeah, we're the, pretty the excited. bigger production systems. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I'm looking forward to the lighting rig he's bringing in as well. So we yes. talked about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we we I guess the gen- part of the genesis of this was um, Meg and I and Beck went and saw um, Steve Carlin doing Frank Sinatra um, mm. with the Roger Fox Big Band at the Carden Event Center, and it was fantastic. And, and Meg, of course, naturally mm. surprised me in that she knew far <laughs> more Sinatra songs than I thought she would. But she's just yes. a little musical vacuum that if it's on you know a movie or anything like that all the lyrics instantly go into her head so yeah Yeah. so we came out of that um really you know just buzzing it was great and saw jenny from the event center there and said oh that was brilliant and she said well that's i'm really pleased you liked it but we want more youth events at the kind of you know so meg when are you doing a concert and we kind of laughed about oh oh, yeah okay jenny all right but then the, the next week we went and saw benny at Shed 6 in Wellington, and she was just incredible, and the show was incredible, and the lighting the lighting setup was basically a big stadium setup mm. that they'd got, gone, oh, well, you want to play Shed 6? Fine, we'll just put the same setup in there. Yeah. And so it was amazing. But then we just thought, well, to be able to go and experience that is incredible, but you need to have 90 spare dollars and be able to get over the hill to Wellington and all that. And there's yeah. a lot of, you know, it's yeah. really difficult for a lot of people, my rapper. Yeah. So we just thought, okay, let's put something on and let's, yeah. we can't be Benny, but we can get as close as possible and we oh, can also yeah. remind people how good the talent is in Wairapa, yeah, you know. Yeah, sure, so, sure. yeah, we just want to put on that kind of, we want to blow some people's minds. So yeah. your promotion's been quite effective so far. I've seen it several times in the uh, Times Age and in the midweek. Um, have you talked on any other radio shows? Uh, yeah, or we've talked on More FM as well. Yeah. Um, BG's been absolutely amazing there. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think that's it. The same way I was kind of talking about how Meg got that amazing support. You know, she's grown as a performer because of the support she's had. Mm. This has been fantastic as well. People are just so mm. been so fabulous. I've had uh, uh, yesterday. I had um, somebody from Japan has put fifty dollars into my account to buy tickets for. Yes, yeah, he just wants five young people to be able to go and see One to Twenty One. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I think that there is such a need for music for young people in the wider upper because that's exactly exactly what you said. I mean, ninety dollars for a ticket, and then getting there is also yeah. just a. And then concerts go so late that yes. often people need to stay the night and. Yep. It just ends up with such yeah. a big bill yeah, for yeah. such a for one night, yeah. and I think that um, for me anyway, it's really important to have music that you can go and listen to with your friends yeah. and kind of blow off some steam and kind of forget about everything for a while. Sure. Because you need some help yeah. to do that as a musician you, you can't organize it all yourself can no you? that's what i got minty yeah. for <laughs> exactly exactly well you know if if you need any help you know sing out because it's a big job organizing a show like that it, it is a bigger job than i realized yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I, again i'm lucky i've had a lot of people stick their hands up um yeah, yeah. uh yeah pippi um who is involved with Sunset Cinema and Kalkamai as well has been great. Oh, um, there's all sorts of people that it's just, yeah, yeah, too many to mention at the moment. And we need to fill it up, don't we? We need to get <laughs> three or 400 people there. What, what's the capacity? Yeah, I think the capacity of the event centre is about 360. So yeah. Yeah, I'm really hoping to... Uh, um, 
uh, the main reason I really am hoping is we've got two young guys, um, uh, Eddie Rice and Connor Hislop, um, one from Rasko and one from Kuranoi, mm-hmm. who are madly passionate about film, um, and they're bringing a multi-camera setup. Um, mm-hmm. And what I would like is for this to be not just a one-off. I'd mm-hmm. love it to be you know something that goes so well. And so, yeah, I wanted to capture it in film as well, so in the future, yeah. pitching to sponsors or um, uh, yeah for, for funding, um, we've got, I don't have to paint a picture. I can just say, look at the video. Look at these yes, people going yes, insane. Look yes. at how good the performers were and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, sure. having a packed out venue would absolutely um, help that. Yeah. 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 And again, on top of what I was saying before, I think we do have a few opportunities for young performers. Mm. I mean, we've got Y Fest and Talent Wide Upper and Smoke Free Rock Quest and amazing competitions mm. and places to perform like that. But um Often the audiences are made up of family over and friends. thirty, yeah, yeah, grandparents. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So let, let's yeah. let's talk a little bit later on about how to go from one to twenty-one to possibly something two or three times a year. <sighs> oh. You know, whether it's not maybe not always the Carlton Event Centre, but a show we do at the Tin Hut. I mentioned that. Uh, Mr. Deathwish, Dr. Deathwish, yeah. had been with his dad. Well, that's uh, Tin Hut Live. We do it a third Friday in the month. You've got a poster in front of you of our show in February. We've got Bullfrog Rata with the uh, elegant Wastrels, which is Johnny Ray and Patrick Bleakley. So it's a trio from Wellington, top flight blues. Awesome. The best you'll hear. Uh, backed up by Bob and Kate. And, I love and Bob my, and Kate. Oh. Yeah, so we're all having a go there on that Friday. And that's a place you guys could come. I mean, we've got a slot in March if you want to follow up from next Thursday. And you obviously wouldn't be able to bring the whole show into the little old tin no. hut. But, you know, you could come with a couple of your friends. Yeah. And be the feature act. You know? Oh, and, and I love playing with Kate and Bob. I mean... Yeah. Kate, I've known Kate forever, and just oh, she her her piano lessons and singing yeah, lessons, mate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she was your lessons. piano teacher. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, started off with just singing lessons yeah. from when I was about, I think I was about seven when I started with her. Yeah. Um, and then it was a bit of off and on, because yeah. you know, crazy sporadic kids, but. Um, <laughs> So do you want to come and do a guest spot, just sing a song with them? I'd love to, Let's see what we can organise. So that's the 19th of February. It's still a few weeks away. Three weeks away. That sounds brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. So that's coming from. Let me just play you one song, and then I'm going to get you to read out some of the events that are happening in the Wairapa. No pressure. So this is (laughs) one of our favourite singers of the current era.
That was Holly Smith, everybody, singing a song from her album Long Player, and the song was titled Be Whole in Thee. Kind of meditative, lovely tinkling keys and that soaring voice of hers. Oh, amazing voice. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's, uh, let's give some information to our listeners about what's happening in the Wairarapa in the next week, shall we? Well... Thursday, January the 21st. That'll be today. That's today, <laughs> yeah. We've got belly dancing for beginners at the Featherston Community Centre, 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. So you can still catch that one. Call Antonia Blinko at 021-105-7649. And then we have digital seniors computer tablet and smartphone advice and coaching Martinborough St Andrews Hall Dublin Street and that is 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. Featherston Fire Station Fox Street 1.30 to 3.30 p.m. So you might have to jump up and get down there if you're going to make it today. Mm. Yeah yeah <laughs> have to go fast there. Um, age concern steady as you go so maybe not too fast full prevention class 9.30 at the at nine thirty a.m. at the Senior Citizens Hall, Cole Street, Masterton, and we also have a social social learners bridge, one to three thirty p.m. at the Featherston Community Centre. Call Barbara at o six three o four nine two o eight. Wired up a fern and f- thistle pipe band. Practice at six thirty till eight thirty p.m. Savage Club Hall. 10 Albert Street, Masterton. Call Secretary Gloria at 027 628 5889. All right, I might jump in for Friday's one. So for tomorrow, January 22nd, um, there's other toy exhibitions uh, Angela Busby and Dennis Handyside out of the woods. Um, to February 14th, Family Tree Fucker Papa by the Slavic Sisters to February 14th. Uh, Teddy Titao. Uh, Fakatao Miro Miro. <laughs> now we're working hard on my today. Um, to, t- to February 28th. And Crystal Chain Gang in f- Influx and Sam Ducker Jones High to March 7th. Marston Variety Club has practice from 10 a.m. to noon at 10 Albert Street, Masterton. New members are welcome. Call Eric McEwen 377 0792 or Doreen Wakefield 3704606. Then there's the Senior Net Warrapa. Uh, to drop in from 1 to 2.30 at the Departmental Buildings, 33 Chapel Street, Masterton. Call John 027 388 a uh, couple more for Friday. Needlework and craft drop in 10 a.m. noon at the Featherston Community Centre. Call May 06308 6912 or Virginia 06308 8392. And then the Masterton Masters Swimming Club. It's a club night, 5.30 to 6.30, Trust House Recreation Centre back pool. Call Stu on 027 295 4189 or Lucy on 021 0204 4144. And I'll pass back to Meg for Saturday. Saturday, January the 23rd. And so we have Carrington Bowling and Croquet Club, Golf Croquet, at 1.15pm for 1.30pm. Start. Call Steve Davis at 06-304-7155. Bowls at 1.20 p.m. for a 1.30 p.m. start at the club rooms behind the clock tower. Um, call Rex Kenny at 379-7303. Uh, we then have the Masterton Toy Library. I, I'll just jump in because I think we've jumped to Sunday, the gen- January 24th, is that right? Oh, gosh. Sorry, I've jumped to Sunday. But that's right. Keep going. We finished Saturday. We finished Saturday. We finished Saturday. Saturday. I've got a couple of things for Saturday. Jump in for Saturday. Before we go on to Sunday, I've got the Fabric a Brack, which is at the Greytown Town Hall on Saturday from 10 till 2. Make all your sewing, crafting dreams come true at Wairapa's first Fabric a Brack sale. 
Over 20 stallholders will be set up in the Greytown Town Hall with an incredible array of fabric, patterns, zips and buttons on offer. So come down to get your creative juices flowing and treat yourself to a delicious bowl of ice cream and fresh strawberries while you're there. So it's cash sales only. Uh, there's no charge to get in. There's an ATM machine located at the Fresh Choice supermarket nearby. Fabric a brack on Saturday at the Greytown Town Hall. Um, on Saturday and Sunday, down in that neck of the woods, but across to Martinborough, um, there is lavender picking. Ranui Essentials, which is at 284C Dry River Road, Martinborough. Come and enjoy summertime in amongst the lavender. Overlooking the Tararua Ranges, bring a picnic, stroll amongst the lavender. Pick your own bunches, and there's a lavender shop on site. So that's down Dry River Road for Ranui Essentials Lavender Picking, both Saturday from 10 till 3 and Sunday from 10 till 3 this weekend. That sounds like a lovely place to go and yeah. write some lyrics or something <laughs> with a picnic. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. You can do that. Oh, and one I looked, uh, I felt really interested in. I mean, <laughs> women's self defence. That yes. sounds awesome with yeah. D on at nine a.m. Yes, yes, yeah. that is uh, at the at the bandstand. Yeah, it's at the Band Rotunda, Queen Elizabeth Park. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Good. Should we go back to uh, do Sunday? Should we do Sunday? Sunday. Do Sunday? So then yeah. we can tick that off. Sunday. Indeed, Sunday, January twenty fourth, um, the Masterton Toy Library, ten a.m. to one p.m. at the rear of the Masterton YMCA, one hundred and sixty two Dixon Street. Then Featherston Med Shed, uh, sixty one Fitzherbert Street, open from one p.m. Love the men's shed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Carrington Bowling and Croquet Club. The Association Croquet, 9am for 9.15 start at club rooms behind the clock tower, Carterton. Call Robin Brazzle, 06 222 Good. Can I just put in a plug for MMP? Because we're on the MMP show, which stands for Move, Mingle and Play. So you move to get there. You move while you're there. <laughs> Uh, you mingle with others, so you've got lovely social contact and maybe new friends and old acquaintances, and then you play. Hopefully, it's it's, it's to have fun. I There's nothing it. too serious about these things, although some of the selling, the buying and selling, could get a bit serious. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've got a, a, a clip of you playing in the Rock Quest on on YouTube. Oh, awesome! Should we have a Should we have a listen to that? Yes, I let's think let's so. go. Here's Meg at the Rock Quest. I think two years ago. Uh, me no, that was last year. But yes, me last year. After changing all that matters. I can't seem to figure out what happened. Every time we cross back, I find a new way to get out of my head. But nothing falls perfect. Scattered, you erase me, then retrace. 
leaves me after Changing all that matters Can't seem to figure out what happened Lovely song, Meg. That was beautiful. What was the name of that song? That is Summer Came Scattered. Um, it's my original song. Ah, Summer Came Scattered. Yeah. What lovely imagery. Yeah. Isn't it? Well, that opens up uh, some, some vistas, doesn't it? Some horizons to explore. <laughs> horizons, quite literally, I think. It's, yeah. You know, you know. yeah. yeah. Oh, look, uh, and I mean, I, that's part of the process I really love is that, you know, Meg disappears into a room for a bit or somewhere and comes out and suddenly there's these fully formed songs and I, I honestly don't know where they come from, but I, it's, it's wonderful to, to be an observer of that kind of coming mm. to life. Um, that was a fabulous uh, thing where Jason Island came out and um, helped us shoot that at uh, the at Kuranui actually, um, because all the entries for 2020 Smoke Free had to be put in on video due to COVID, and that's probably another reason why we're quite excited about you know um, a physical event, a physical yeah. event, yeah, because yeah. a lot of the things, including Talent Warapa, just didn't happen, you know. So there's been a void in music for young people so yes. it's exciting to be able to be and cracking this, back into it this the uncertainty of when is it going to get back to normal exactly yeah, yeah. You know, we, we've all had to struggle with that haven't we and so mm. we're incredibly i mean i feel incredibly privileged to be here though i think you know you look at what it, what it's like around the rest of the world and and yeah. we're sitting yeah close together <laughs> yes and yes. just being able to to talk about this amazing concert that we're so privileged to be to be able to hold and yeah. I think that's the other thing that we really need to we really just need to go and see live music because we do we yeah. just for so long it helps us connect in all sorts of ways both with others mm -hmm. uh, with ideas with uh, new ways of looking at things and with deeper parts of ourselves mm -hmm. And then it might even inspire people to go and become more musically involved themselves yeah to see you guys up there so that's Thursday next week. What time does it start? Uh, <laughs> it starts at 7 yeah. um, with some discussions with the event finder about um, they've put 7.30. The show will start around about 7.30 most likely. <laughs> yes. Well, you want to give people a chance to mix and mingle. We yeah. do indeed. We've got, a few, we've got a little bit of um, pre-show um, yeah. fun planned as well. Yes, so, yes, yeah. yeah. And you catering a bit for it too? Uh, yep, um, R2R, uh, the local youth group are um, doing food and drinks. Yes. Um, oh. Which again is that thing, yeah. <laughs> Last time I had their catering, that was amazing. They did soup for Carpi Carditon and yes. couldn't stop really. eating it. Keep going up for <laughs> more bowls. Yeah, really. no, that, it's again, it's that thing of, of just trying to, if it is a, um, a youth focus, yeah. Trying to make sure that you know the people providing yeah. the catering are youth. R two R just do an amazing job. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Keisha and um, uh, Andrew and Dallas, um, and yeah, um, there'll be a few other. Got some glow bands. Um, we'll have for sale and stuff like that. So yeah, yep, it's gonna be big. Just honestly, we're just going, kind of just getting everything and. Whether it's going to work or not, I mean. It will work. Yeah, yeah. just having. It's I just, just how. Think, yeah. <laughs> but you'll find that out Food as you do it. Ah, it's going to be so exciting. bands and yeah. music. What can get better yeah. than So that? you need a lot of people who aren't musicians, don't you, to kind of fill out the support crew? Look, the, I, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so the musicians can focus. And they're not running around trying to organise other things as well. Yeah, no. we're we're very lucky again. People start their hand up. Jamie Searles uh, and uh, Jamie Searles and his son Luke are doing uh, stage management, so that'll be oh. fabulous. Toby's yeah. got his crew there, and um, yeah, there's a lot of parents helping out as well, so mm. that'll be fabulous. Yeah, excellent. Hey, well, very best of luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. Yeah. Thank you. Something to really look forward to, and I'm I'm sure the word will get out. And I'll be mentioning it again next Thursday morning because we've got one more of these on the day. Yeah, well, I imagine door yeah, sales. And we're coming. To Thanks for the comp tickets, by the way. Are you absolutely welcome. Uh, yeah. they'll, they'll be going to all my hard up older musician <laughs> friends. <laughs> I love it. Heart, young at heart. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's oh, they'll be is. jealous. They, they want to be up on the stage. <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> so that's what we'll do later is we'll, we'll do a combined event. You know, we, the Tin Hut's yeah. one, one place where we've got pretty much a free reign. Uh, the Gladstone uh, Inn is another place we can, we can reasonably easily organise things. And Wingate Road Cafe Winery. 
I, which used to be Paper Road. Right. It's now Wingate Lane, actually, it's okay. called, out on Opaki. They have an open mic night on a Wednesday early in the month. Right. Uh, but again, it's a venue where, you know, they they want live music. Oh. And the other one that's just kind of a little bit in the background, and I'm waiting to get through the kind of holiday process, is Coco's in Queen Elizabeth Park. Oh, uh, Priscilla, okay. who this runs is... that, is really keen to have live music. So you could go and talk to her and say, Rob, send us along. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, you know, just to even go in with a duo and play on a Sunday afternoon. And, you know, she'll give you a meal. She might only give you a hundred bucks or so but oh <laughs> on, that's, that's um, great, yeah. and you can you can put your hat out you can do a bit of koha um but i do, I do appreciate that you know your need is to get out and play not necessarily yeah, to make lots of money <laughs> quite honestly most of the gigs i do uh it's just for playing the music i don't usually get uh, i usually don't ask for anything because the experience is yeah. most important to me at the moment yeah. and um, I mean I'm very thankful for the people who decide that they want to give me some kind of reward I guess yes, some yes. extra cherry yeah. on top yeah. for getting to play um, Yeah. well there are places uh, where you know that's a reasonable expectation that you will get paid because people are paying to come in and see see you and but you know, honestly mm. as long as I get to play Mm. and experiment then that's all i really need so do you think you'll go on and study music at, at uni or um a college somewhere? i think that i honestly want to i think i'm gonna push music like this for as long as i can because um kind of performing music is the focus of what i want to do mm. whereas um also, music theory is not my, <laughs> but um, yeah. yeah, I think that university for music isn't quite my thing. Great, okay, but good I think to I'm know just that. Going to push live music yeah. for as long as I can. Do you know Reb Fountain? I love Reb Fountain. Let's listen to one of her songs because she's come from that background, totally, hasn't she? Um, to to get to where she's got to now, she is amazing. Yeah. Drunk, clear, Indian boy, they said Spouting off his mouth about the great man's dead What's a little bag between boys in the cell? You never know who's listening at the gates of hell They're like video stores, press rewind, delete On those that don't work, that don't fit nice and neat In the future we say he's worth something Hell, I could have been somebody Don't you know who I am? Don't you know who I am? In certain circles where you can't touch me I'ma dance around, you know I'm connected to the powers that be I got you, ain't got nothing on me You put my tail in jail This is a place called hell Wheeling and dealing on a Saturday night Caught between a gun and a stitched up fight Brushing birds that travel hell out of heat See me in your eyes Don't you know who I am 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 Don't you cry brother There's a knife in your back Don't you cry sister He ain't coming back Caught you trying to make your way to kingdom come Well this is my territory It's God's will to stamp what's mine It's God's words that bite your tongue And marks me divine The moment we lay our hands on the world She's his figure How we can touch her up Don't you know Don't you know who I am? Don't you know who I am? Don't you know who I am? No shame, no fear, no highway out here. 
make it if I wanted to I think I'll make it if I follow through I used to ask you what I needed best Got sucker punch and nearly lost my head Now I'm out you like an avalanche You might as kills as queen for a fighting shot So go and look at me, can mark on my map Brush the wood, take my wood Don't you know who I am? arms, done already, he had heard the call, Chi-Chi, honey, well it's time to rise, spread your wings, little boost, and we'll take flight, he flew over the devil of the wasteland, six string playing on your heartland, death in your pockets and a bird unsung, this is the star of progress, I set out on an expedition, Simple with your pop pop songs, God forbid you change the record. I draw lines in symphony, animal savagery, refugee, just like me. Don't believe the hype. Out of the wasteland we come. Little girls, little boys, and the nameless ones rise up, oh children, will you dance with me? Up little children, come and set me free. Rise, little ones, rise. No shame, no fear. Don't you know who I am? 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 Well, that's Reb Fountain, Don't You Know Who I Am. And Meg, you actually played uh, opening a concert for her at um, Cannon's Heath with yeah. Simon and Pip. Um, it was a bit unexpected, but Simon just said, oh, you want to come play a few songs? I mean, just a couple of songs before Reb. And I was like, yes, <laughs> yes, I do want to play a couple of songs. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, saw Reb backstage and... She was just like, oh, are you playing before me? That's so nice. And and then afterwards she just said, just keep going. That was, yeah. yeah. And oh, afterwards I went and sat down and listened to her set. And she's just so inspirational and amazing. Mm. And just kind of what what young artists I think aspire to be. Yeah, she digs deep, doesn't she? Yeah. She does, and she's fearless with the way she goes. Yeah. Yeah. And she should have so much. Like, she should have taken over the world, <laughs> like, because yeah. her music just is so, such good quality. And so much of her earlier career was, was actually backing mm. people in the Eastern. Ah. She was the backup vocalist. So, you know, she might have sung one or two songs, but she was basically Adam's backup singer. Wow. And that got her out of Littleton. And then she moved to settle in Auckland. But okay. it's obviously strong connection still with the Littleton gang. Yeah. Yeah, and she's featuring at the Auckland Arts Festival on um, the 7th of March. So happy to see concert. how huge she's getting because she certainly mm. deserves it. Her lyrical content as well oh. is just incredible. Mm. So, yeah. You can tell the work and the, all the story and the experience that goes into her songs mm. like she's really takes her time to put everything into each song mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah we're both big fans yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. for sure to say that <laughs> cool. oh well uh, that's, a, that's a, um, a positive for you Reb if you're listening let's have a little bit more information shall we before we um, go on to the next thing I would like to tell you folk listening about the Carterton not the Carterton the Wairapa Kids Choir 
I think it is actually in Carterton, but it meets again for rehearsals on Thursday next week, January the 28th. Um, The first event for the choir's 2021 season is a half-day workshop at the end of the school holidays, Thursday, January 28th, from 9.30 till 12 at the Carterton Courthouse on Holloway Street. Everyone is welcome to attend. So that's 7 to 14-year-olds, and they do have the problem of people turning, younger ones turning 15 over the holidays, and, of course, they can't come back into the choir. Right. So they've got to feed in from the, the younger age group you to keep the choir going. You must have just missed it then. I must have <laughs> oh. missed it. I just missed it. So it says here, to join the choir... Or for more information, please contact Jill Bebbington on 027 347 5891. 027 347 5891 for all you would be choristers. So, one very special event that's coming up uh, starting Friday next week after the uh, 1 to 21 show uh, is the Wild Flower Festival at Yabo. Studios between the Tin Hut and the Tiranika Racecourse. And it's run by Zelda Bruce, and she's got a two week festival with art activities, uh, sculpture and art exhibitions, and music every day for two weeks. Two weeks? weeks. That's incredible. And she lives there, so it's like her home studio, and she's opening it up to the community. The Saturday, of course, is Country Music Day at the Turidika Racecourse. So there'll be a bit of competition. But my band is playing there all day on the Saturday, and we're not playing country. We do one Johnny Cash song. You'll never guess what that is. Thorson oh. and Prison Blues. Okay. Oh, oh, course, there we go. <laughs> That's to get them dancing at the end of the night. I love it. <laughs> but um, it starts on Friday at it's uh, Yibu Art Studio, State Highway 2. She's put Greytown, but it's actually near a Featherston. Yeah, it's closer to Featherston. Um, the art exhibition opens on the Friday with 50 shades of rainbow and a high tea. That's $22.50. Um, and the sculptures in the garden on the Friday right through to Sunday from 11.30 to 4. Um, it's a three-day long event, the sculptures in the garden. And the sculptures come from exhibitors including Sean Crawford, Mark Dimmick, Sue Jenkinson, and Zelda herself. Um, on Thursday, the 4th of April, there's an art workshop, which is De-Stress the Creative Way. Uh, the workshop tickets are $48. That's on the following Thursday, the 4th of February. And on the 1st of February, there's Marty Girl, Slather and Masks, which is a workshop, ticket $33. Gather a group of ladies together, either at your home, workplace, or public place, and have a Marty Girl Slather event for only $20 a head. Adi will come and spend up to two hours with you and your guests, choosing and painting on a choice of three face masks, whilst you give each other a delicious coconut oil hand foot scrub. And when the mask is washed off after 15 minutes, you learn how to give each other an amazing facial yoga massage. How's that? And they're doing that at Yibo um, on Monday, the 1st of February. So that's Monday week. Okay. Um, so there's all sorts of things happening at the Wild Flower Festival starting Friday next week and going through for two weeks. It finishes on Valentine's Day. Okay. On the 14th of February. And there is a website. You just look up Wildflower Festival. Okay. Uh, You'll find information about it and ticket prices and all the rest of it. I think there's even a campsite for for house trucks and buses and camper vans if people want to stay over. Well, I'll put a plug in too for Sean Crawford as well. Like, he is the most incredible sculptor. Yeah. I mean, his works have been all around the country. He's, yeah, he is astonishing so yeah if he's involved with it <laughs> yeah it's going to be brilliant that yeah. sounds like a weekend too heading <laughs> one to 21 on thursday yeah and then the is it the wildflower arts wildflower art starts on friday yeah okay. uh with whatever i said first of all the sculpture in the garden yep yeah. and the art exhibition the 50 shades of rainbow and then saturday's more of a community day with music there'll be several uh, bands playing ours is one of them 
Stefan Brown will be there, probably Colette Rivers. Nice. Maybe you want to come and play. <laughs> We'll talk about it later. It's like a music art sandwich those days, though. That's great. Exactly. Have you got any more to read out? Any more events going into Monday or Tuesday? Because we're getting near the end of the show. We need to wind it up now. Uh, We have Watercolour for Beginners class at Masterton Art Club, Victoria Street, 10 a.m. to noon. Which day? um, this is Monday, January the 25th, sorry. Cool. Call Elisa Smith at 027-470-6528. We also have Ma Zhong, uh, 1 to 4 p.m. at Featherston Community Centre. Call Pat Hamilton at 06-308-9729. And here we have Senior Citizens Club Cards at um, 1 till 4 p.m. Featherston Community Centre. Call Val at 06-308-9293. And we also have the Carterton Food Bank, a really important one, 10 till 11 a.m. Monday to Friday at Homanu House, down on the lane between Carters and the Clock Tower. Call 379 4092 uh, CCS Disability Action Wairarapa Office 36 Bannister Street Masterton 10am to 1pm Monday to Friday for mobility parking permits disability support and ad- advocacy um, call 378 2426 or 0800 227 2255 Excellent Thank you. Have we got to Tuesday? We can, we've got uh, we can come up to Tuesday now, yeah. I think we do Tuesday and then we might wrap it up. Tuesday, January 26th, Social Bridge at South Wairarapa Working Men's Club, 1.30 to 3.30. No partner needed. Call Leslie, 021 299 6389. Ever thought of playing bridge, Minty? Uh, Sam and I used to t- play board games all the time and actually travel yeah. around New Zealand playing board games even when he was little, and quite often they were at bridge clubs. And ah. I did get shown how to play bridge. Yes. Um, uh, I know people get incredibly passionate about it, and I've yeah. read stories about people being shot. <laughs> it can be the highlight of the week for people going uh, to bridge club. I love how much yeah. passion people get into it, and and um it's obviously the partner aspect of it you've got to be in sync with your partner oh there's a whole lot of rules yeah susan my wife is learning to play bridge online or just from internet uh teaching programs and then she's going to her first class i think next week or Mm. to play yeah Yeah. Uh, Yeah, and of course i try and help her out from my memory of playing bridge long long time ago and i'm way behind way behind the eight ball i'm pretty sure this is a a bit of a distant memory but there is somebody in warapa who was nationally placed at bridge i was talking to them but i can't recall who it was yeah so Uh, yeah i I think your one's more the the (laughs) alcoholics anonymous (laughs) (laughs) well you see (laughs) um We've also got uh, chair exercise, gentle chair exercises from 2 to 2.45 at St. John's Hall on Greytown. This is still Tuesday, January 26th. And the men's shed in Fitzherbert Street is open from 10 a.m. That's a good one to finish on, perhaps, you you and your men's shed. Because there are men's sheds everywhere, aren't there? There are. We've had some uh, fabulous help with um, them from the men's shed when um, there was some activities being put on for kids in the park. And they um, helped create... A structure that was so the kids could do this mural all oh. collaboratively so yeah, yeah a bit of a fan yeah hey it's been fantastic having you guys here any last comments um honestly uh if you're a young musician out there and you don't quite have the confidence or have are you still playing in your room just get out there and you can always get in contact with me or minty um you can get me on instagram at Meg Hunter Music, <laughs> um, and just I'll, I can have a chat to you, uh, but honestly, just get out there and play music. That is the best way to do it. Just keep playing. Mm. And we'll have you definitely come and play with Bob and Kate on the 19th of Feb yeah. at the Tin Hut. Be great. And I mean, it's not a place for young people to come and meet you, but um, maybe we can put out another little news flash about um, a place to meet you somewhere. Where you're going to be, coffee bar, perhaps next week, before the show, <laughs> or after the show. 
Anyway, oh, 1 yeah. to 21, yeah, everybody. Like and time. thank you very much for coming, thank telling you. us your story. And wow, all the best for next Thursday and the future. Cheers. Thanks, Rob. Thank really so appreciate much. it. Yeah. So yeah. that's yeah. us, everybody. MMP wrapping up for another week. And we'll be with you again next Thursday at 8 o'clock. Go well. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Thank you.